Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a very important Power BI interview question which I recently posted in my community and let's take a look at the question first and then we'll try to solve it. So let's see the question first. Okay guys, so this was the question uh, and this was by the way asked in Wells Fargo and uh, they had outsourced this to hacker rank and this was as you can see at the top Power BI hiring test, right? So let's go ahead and try to solve this question. You want to write a DAX query for returning first name from the orders table where the name of the customer has a first name and a last name separated with a space. What could be a suitable DAX query? This is the question and they have given an example saying Max Scott as the name of the customer where you just have to simply return the first name which is Max. Now to accomplish this, they have given four different options and if you see, all of the four options use two different DAX. One is the path item and the other is the DAX substitute. So until and unless you know what substitute does and what path item does, you won't be able to solve it because there are options are very close. You have comma one, comma two, zero and nothing over here, right? In the second option. So let us first understand and I have also made previous videos on substitute. I hope that you see them. But don't worry, I'll be explaining everything in details in this video itself. So you won't have to refer any video previously. Uh, we'll be actually analyzing the both the substitute and path item and I'll let you know how to solve this question. So let's get started. So first of all, as I told you, what is substitute? Now the substitute DAX is very easy. All you have to do is, you see, this is the syntax of substitute, right? So I hope this is visible, right? This is the syntax of substitute and so it has got four parameters. So in the first parameter, basically the what we do is we generally refer the column where this substitute needs to be done. Okay. In the second parameter, you replace what needs to be replaced. Like let's say I need to replace United States of America with USA. So the old text will be United States of America. The new text will be USA. And this instance number is nothing but, uh, you know, it's an optional thing. So we can as of now, go ahead and neglect this. Let us take an example of substitute. So look over here. I have directly passed a column called product code and I'll be replacing NW with PA. That's it. So I hope you are dead clear with the example of substitute. Let's go ahead and see path item now. Okay, this is the syntax of path item. It basically has three parameters, but two of them are mandatory and one is optional, which is the type. It is very easy. Uh, if you actually read what is path, it says a string which contains a limited list of IDs, right? And by the way, path will be having a particular occurrence of items. What I mean by that is it will be having a delimiter like let's say pipeline. For example, you see this account path, right? This is a path which is having a list of items, okay? And for separated by the delimiter pipeline. So this is called as a path. So what path item will do is basically it will pick a particular item. So the first item which is one is in the position one. The second item which is 24 is in the position two. And in the third item two is actually in the position three. One, two, three. So what you will do using the path item is you will actually return the exact item defining a particular position. So if you have this position, which is the second parameter of the path item, if I say two comma two, what it will do? Come over here. It will return 24 because it is in the position two. So let us go ahead and actually try to evaluate this using this syntax. So I am in dax.do right now. I will go ahead and see what happens if I use a path item on the column called account path. This is the account path and I say account path comma one. So you see level one, which is nothing but the name of this column, which I have created. It is all returning one. Why? Because the first occurrence, the first item is one. So if I do this account path comma two and then run this query, you see this, the first is uh, returning blank because you do not have anything in the second uh, position but from the second row onward you have the number 24 right so that's why you're getting 24 if i return 3 and run this you'll be getting 2 3 and again 2 because 2 3 2 these are the occurrences in the third place and 
the first row will give you blank because it does not have any items in the third place. So hope you are dead clear with both what the substitute does and what the path item does. Now let us go ahead and try to analyze our question and try to solve this. So before that, let me just try to tell you what happens if you create a measure. So let's say I go ahead do a right click and say let's I want to create a new measure and in this new measure I want to use substitute okay remember I am at the page level right I am the report view and I am creating a measure now the names that is coming from here is actually coming from a table called test name if I type names automatically it should give me a type ahead right and I should know that from which table it is coming but if I type n a m e s names I do not get anything right because you cannot create a measure at the report level this is very important guys okay this is uh, something that I am giving you in extra which is not there in the uh, you know a test evaluation thing so what we will do is we will straightly go to the table view and in the table view look at this right so I have these four names what I want to do is I want to exactly replicate whatever my question was so let's go ahead and try to do that I will say new column and in the new column now I'll mention this experiment or something uh, let me do a zoom okay and I need to specify so I'll say substitute right and now it expects a text which is the column that I will give so this is names and now you see if I type ahead test names which is the name of the table and names is coming comma over here what I need to substitute I need to substitute the space like right? so I'll give a space comma and with what I need to substitute if you read the question I have to substitute this with a pipeline right so I'll close this I'll say enter and this is step one see this is now come James Bond, Rithik Roshan, Saru Khan and Hans Zimmer. All these four names are now separated. The first and the last name are separated using a pipeline operator. Now what will I do is I need to extract only the first name, not the second name. So what I'll do, I'll go to path item, right? And I have already given the path, which is this exp column. Now I will try to extract it from which position from the first position so that it returns the first name. That's it. Okay. So this is the output guys. I hope you are able to see this. Let me zoom this a bit. Right. So using this particular trick, uh, you are getting only the first name, which was the ask in the question. Right. So let me go back to my question now. So out of these four item, obviously the correct answer will be the first one right right so i hope that you are clear with this explanation so that's it for this video guys uh, if you're not following me uh, i request you to go ahead and you know uh, click that subscribe button to to get more information on power bi interview and questions and more scenarios like this i hope uh, this video was useful to you uh, if you have any further comments do let me know in the comment section i'll try my level best to go ahead and answer them as well so that's it for this video guys till the next time we meet bye bye